there is one planet that decides everything in your life or not. <laughs> that we have already discussed in case of your Mahadasha planet which decides everything. But Mahadasha is very long. It could be for 19 years or 20 years or depending on the planet, the Mahadasha can be very long, right? Maximum of 20 years, Venus Dasha and shortest Sun Mahadasha for 6 years. But what happens during that? So if you have not watched my Mahadasha video and you are jumping to this, you may not get a get the best understanding. So I would request you, please watch the Mahadasha video which I uploaded 3-4 days back, hopefully. And then you can jump into this video. Alright? Now, what does an Antar Dasha indicate? Antar Dasha, as you know, it is a period within the Mahadasha. Right? So every Mahadasha, any Mahadasha for any planet will have the Antar Dashas of all the nine planets. Right? So therefore, no confusions in regards to that. And the first Antar Dasha of a Mahadasha is always of the same planet. So Saturn Mahadasha will start with Saturn Antar Dasha. And that's how the chronology is. You know, after that there will be Mercury, then there will be Ketu, then there will be Venus. Okay, so we know the structure and the order, right? So therefore, now the first thing that the Antar Dasha tells you. So now, Mahadasha will give you your status. And uh, as I said in the video, it will give you your no uh, vision okay what's your vision about life you know are you happy or are you unhappy right so these things mahadasha will give but the antar dasha will give you temporary achievements and problems in life in any area of life so for example <coughs> if your mahadasha is excellent in career for example and then the, within the within this antar dasha your career has some problems so then what will happen is the entire Mahad during the entire Mahadasha, the career will remain uh, at a bare minimum great level. Okay, it's like you are at a very high position. But if suppose the Antar Dasha is uh, not the best, then what will happen is it will become difficult for you to maintain that position, and you will be you know under threat. Somebody is either overpowering you, some colleague or some competitor or some other business, and you are now worried. What will happen to me? Right. So. Or on the other side, there could be good things, you know, like you got some temporary awards or, you know, some, you got some post position in your society. Okay, so these things could happen, but they are temporary and it will be because of the recent work for one or two years. Okay, now Antar Dashas, as you know, they can be for, yeah, whatever, depending on the Mahadasha and the Antar Dasha planets. Could be, you know, like one year, two years, uh, could be sometimes three years also, could be less than one year also. Okay, so go and check in astrosage.com and you will know more about it. Number two, it will tell you your major ups and downs in your professional life. So, for example, if your, as I said already, if your professional life uh, is indicated uh, in a challenging manner for a particular Antar Dasha, then for that specific Antar Dasha, Either you will not grow, which means you will be stagnant or you may lose your job, but you will find another job. Okay. So, for example, if the Mahadasha is indicating your career is great, then if an Antar Dasha is very bad, you may lose your job, but you will not lose your status, which means very soon you will find another job. Okay. So, that is something you need to be, uh, you need to be aware of. And uh, that is why whenever a person tells me that I have lost a job, I don't see the Antar Dasha, I see the Mahadasha because the Mahadasha will tell me. So, if in the initial months or days of the Mahadasha there has been a problem, and then it could be that the person remains unemployed throughout the Mahadasha. It is possible to some extent, okay? But Antar Dashas will tell you when will promotions happen, when will you lose your job, you know, or when you can get more responsibility. So, for example, if Jupiter, Mercury, Antar Dasha is coming, then you may get more opportunities or you may do two things together. Okay, so some short venture, some side hustle or anything like that. So ups and downs specifically in your professional life that you can see. Number three, ups and downs in your married life. Okay, how is my marriage going? Is it good or bad? Now, that primarily has to be seen from the Mahadasha. But if your Antar Dasha, suppose your married life is problematic in a new Mahadasha, then if the Antar Dasha is also problematic, then there could be a situation of divorce, okay? So, for example, your 
Venus Madasha started and your Venus is problematic in the chart for marriage. Then your sun is also problematic. So then what happens when Venus Madasha, sun Antar Dasha comes, then there could be divorce, okay? Or suppose uh, after K2, your Venus is indicating great marriage. Then your sun also indicates great marriage. So then when Venus and sun Antar Dasha comes, then your married life will considerably improve, okay? So this is something you need to be aware of. Number four, it will decide the model of the car that you purchase. What is this? So, I said this already. The Mahadasha will decide. So, in your life, will you go on a bicycle or a motorcycle or a Maruti or a Toyota or a Honda or a Mercedes or a Rolls Royce or a Lamborghini or a yacht or a private jet? That will be decided by the Mahadasha. But, suppose it is Mercedes. And then the Antardasha will decide, will you take, you know, the initial, what was that, you know, CLA, I think it's not there uh, anymore, but there's this, you know, Maybach, S-Class, G-Wagon, or what is it, you know, E-Class, C-Class, okay. So, the Antar Dasha will tell you exactly which model you will take, okay, and the Pratyantar will tell you the amenities that will be there inside <laughs> the car, okay. So, therefore, both have to be uh, honored, both the Dashas, and then you will get the exact answer in regards to which car and which model will you purchase okay if both are excellent you may you know purchase a rolls royce and you know phantom and then with the best you know amenities inside okay but nonetheless you will know the model of the car by seeing the antar dasha very 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 important number five the change of location within a particular country for any reason so this is not for outside country so which means if you are destined, if, if you have gone to a different country altogether, then it cannot happen only with the Antar Dasha. It has to be also indicated in the Mahadasha. So, for example, if your uh, Moon Mahadasha has started and in Moon Rahu you have gone to another country. So, it cannot happen that Rahu is indicating the 3rd, 9th or 12th and you have gone out. No, it cannot happen. It has to be, there has to be some indication of travel in the moon also and it should be there in another planet Rahu so when moon Rahu Antar Dasha comes then then you are off okay that, that could be for any reason okay not specifically uh, you know job or marriage it could be for any reason okay but and uh, the coming the coming back of a person to one's homeland that also has to be indicated in the Mahadasha and in one of the Antar Dashas at least with a so for example if Rahu Mahadasha begins and a person has the combination of returning to his or her homeland, then it can't happen that just by Rahu, Rahu, you will come back. So, after Rahu, Jupiter will come. After that, Saturn will come. Antar Dasha. So, so, in Rahu and Jupiter or Rahu, Saturn or Rahu, Mercury, one of the planets, Antar Dasha, other than Rahu, only then you will make a comeback, okay? Or it can happen in the Pratyantar also sometimes, like Rahu, Rahu. Uh, Jupiter, Rahu, Rahu, Saturn, Rahu, Rahu, Mercury. That time also it can happen, okay? That you come back, but generally it has to be there in the Mahadasha and the Antardasha both. But Antardasha, it has to be there. Now, number six, it will tell you the change of job within a particular company. Okay, so if it is like the position is same, but you are just moving to a different domain and you know, your salary is not increasing much or you know the work is... The technology is a bit different, but the work and the status pay is the same. So that, <clears throat> so then it means the Antar Dasha will indicate that you are having a change. That may not be so much indicated in the Mahadasha because the Mahadasha will tell you the change of status. And if this job or job change within your company is not yielding a change of status or salary, then it may not be so much indicated. But it has to be there in the Antar Dasha. Pratyantar Dasha cannot give you this change, okay? So, if the Antar Dasha indicates you will make a change, then yes, you might go to another position within the same company. There could be some difference of pay, you know, generally it's more always. Number seven, it will tell you the timing of pregnancy. Okay, this is very, very, very important. So, pregnancy, is it is it allowed that you are pregnant? Or for a man, is it permitted that you can impregnate another lady? 
that cannot be decided by the antardasha that only the mahadasha will tell no chance no antardasha can tell oh yeah yeah this person can you know, get get you pregnant or this lady can become pregnant but if the combination for pregnancy or for a man you know, good sperm count if all this is there in the mahadasha for both then in the antardasha you can time that okay now in this antardasha the person the couple if they unite then there could be pregnancy there's a chance okay that is why whenever whenever it's pregnancy don't jump into antardasha first see the mahadasha is the promise there if no then reject it the entire mahadasha will not yield pregnancy okay and that's why having a child is very difficult it requires great karma as the scriptures say you know it is not just any tom dick and harry cannot have kids okay so if you have children that means you have some great karma from your previous lifetimes and they are those good karma or sometimes bad karma <laughs> they are manifesting as your children okay so you are greatly fortunate if you have children and as kaliyuga keeps getting worse and worse you will see no people will not be able to have children or maybe they will have at max one okay or maybe zero or sometimes they will uh, even tell others you know don't have children it's problematic okay why why this is happening because the punya as kaliyuga gets worse and worse as kaliyuga is progressing the punya of the people is reducing okay because kaliyuga is the backbencher academy backbencher means one who has not done sufficient good karma in their previous lifetimes and also no spiritual practices so because of that there is no strength there is no power there is no piety to either have children or even if you have children to maintain them okay so the antar dasha will tell you at in which year or which month you can have children okay number 8 the antar dasha will tell you timing of marriage okay you the antar dasha cannot tell you if you will get married or not yes or no that only mahadasha will tell for the boy and the girl but suppose the mahadasha is agreeing to marriage then using antar dasha you can time okay this year this month so first mahadasha then antar dasha then pratyantar and then you using the pratyantar you can check from it's okay so this is uh, the time so within these two months marriage can happen and then within that when is moon transiting the second seventh or eleventh that is the day the wedding can happen okay so this is how you you can actually predict so the anta dasha will tell you the exact month or the year okay for example if it is you know venus saturn anta dasha it's a very long dasha right so then you can know during this when it can happen like within that you can also see if jupiter saturn or they are aspecting the second seventh eleventh or they are transiting these houses you know within these three year then also that can happen okay number 9 it can show shuffling of investments from here there so suppose you change you sell a property and you you know put it into stock market the money that you get or you do the reverse you sell your stocks and you buy property okay or you buy gold or you sell gold and buy stocks or property so this shuffling can be seen in antardasha so <clears throat> if the fourth house is active in antardasha you will buy real estate if the fifth house is active you can buy stocks okay so this is how you will know basically but it will not tell you if things are like you know like suppose a person puts money into stocks and uh, it will get like it will double in you know uh, two months three months or you know one year it, it won't tell you that that mahadasha will tell and the antardasha will tell with certainty that yes now this event will happen okay but if you are just you know shuffling around your assets here there that that the antardasha can indicate okay and number 10 as mahadasha gives you the vision the antardasha will give you your focus so as the antardasha keep changing your focus areas will change so suppose your mahadasha is indicating that at a larger level greater level you are happy okay so then what it means is now suppose you are lagnesh antardasha has started so suppose you are capricorn lagna and saturn antardasha starts within your mahadasha then it means uh now within this period within the mahadasha of any planet which is a good mahadasha now you will focus on your health okay so for this 1 2 3 years you will focus on your health then maybe mercury the size indicating you will focus on your profession so that happiness will be coming from your profession now okay so therefore mahadasha will tell you will you be happy or not and antardasha will tell you from where and how all right 
Thank you so much for your patience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which Mahadasha and Antadasha you are running and which Ascendant you are. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and personalized consultations from my website below. Take care. Jai Siyadam.